I made an 8 foot electric longboard that pushes the limits of longboarding physics, is strong enough to pull a car, and can carry 6 people at once. When I originally conceived this idea, I thought, long longboard funny. And that was enough justification for me. But with YouTube nowadays, you gotta have a story, a deeper meaning behind your creation. And to that, I stick, yeah! What I didn't realize is, throughout creating this video, I would build something so awesome that I'd end up riding it for 200 miles, make new friends along the way, and learn that sometimes if you just build something just for fun, the story will form around you. Hell yeah. <laughs> so just how long would a long longboard be if a longboard could be longer? Well, based on trigonomic force dynamics, dimensional warping characteristics, and overall phase functionality, I came to the conclusion that 8 feet was the maximum length that would fit in my car. So how do you build a longboard, you might ask, unprompted, at a dinner party? Well, I don't know either, but the internet told me to build a wooden press and squeeze glued plywood together, so I did as the internet commanded. The thing about longboards is, they have a slight arch that levels out when you put your weight on it. My thought process is, I might have as many as four people putting their weight on this, so I'm gonna need a seriously thick arch. Longboards also have a second arch that runs down the length of the board called camber. Camber keeps your feet planted and doctor shullified. That's what these additional rails are for. Now let's make the board. I had to cut a bunch of plywood to size, and with a little help from my roommate, glued it and put it in the press. The press requires a lot of force, so I bought a family pack of clamps from Costco and clamped it down. When all was said and done, it was 20,000 pounds of pressure, then left the glue to dry for two weeks. I thought I might have to reinforce the longboard until I stood on it. Then I realized I definitely have to reinforce the longboard. In order to do that, I had to utilize the peak of reinforcement technology, cardboard, hot glued cardboard. Hot glued cardboard covered in fiberglass, the wrong type of fiberglass. I'm redoing the fiberglass. This 10 seconds took three weeks. After painting the board with my trademark orange, it was finally time to install the wheels and electronics. Did I mention this board is powered by three electric skateboards? Each battery has its own controller, but I'll put them in a 3D printed housing and connect the throttles together to keep them in sync. One last thing you might be wondering, is this longboard too long to turn properly? Well, the wheels are attached to trucks called surf adapters. They're enough to make you go, this was the first test ride. It felt really wobbly at low speeds due to the surf adapter trucks, but once you get going, it became more stable and felt like a normal longboard. So I took the longboard out last night and got about two blocks, and then uh, this happened. Kind of tore the motor wire. A little $50 mistake, but uh, <laughs> it's still bright out. So I patched up the cable and spent a few more days getting comfortable with the board before deciding to do my first true test of the board's power. This is man versus longboard. <laughs> Why do we tie it like this? <laughs> so your longboard could choke out your friend. So what? Can it pull a car? <laughs> no doy it can pull a car. But can it pull a car? That's trying to pull back. Next up, we're gonna attach it to the globe and we're gonna try to rotate the globe the other direction. Let's go! Traction control off, put shifter into manual mode, hold brake 75%. I'm looking up how to do a burnout. Now I know what you're thinking. That was real. And it was. And I know what you thought after that. Show me more. Show me more of that hot, frothy longboard content.
Eventually, I knew we had to do what everyone was thinking. See how many people fit on the board. <laughs> One thing we discovered early on, if you try to get everyone on the board while standing still, you'll wobble back and forth fighting for balance and usually fall off. But while it seems more dangerous, jumping on while it was moving made it much easier to join the ride. Can we do a people having fun montage right here? <laughs> Is anybody else coming? Oh, here we go. So what is the point of making a long longboard? Ask the YouTube algorithm. Well, it's fun. It's fun to make stuff that you drew in your notebook while daydreaming in eighth grade. It's fun to ride around town and see people's reactions. It's the whimsical brought to reality. And getting to do that for a living? Well, that's my dream. So please consider liking and subscribing. Before you go, I wanna build another longboard, but I don't know how long to make it. Next year, I'm gonna see how many likes are on this video, and I'm gonna convert these likes to millimeters, and then we'll see how long of a longboard I should build. So I'm gonna let y'all decide. So this longboard that I just made was eight feet long that converts to about 2,500 likes, and I'm looking to build something around 5,000 likes, so if it gets about like 7,000 likes, just go ahead and stop liking the video, because building a board that long is just, it's, it's not. So y'all tell me how long you want this longboard to be, and I'll see y'all next year. Join my Patreon.